We've made Pico Pong by accident. Well, this one should be called Tiny Pong because it's on a, ras uh, sorry, a Pimerony Tiny 2040, but this one's on a Raspberry Pi Pico, so it's definitely Pico Pong. We'll stick the code on GitHub, but this isn't just interesting, it's actually really, really fun to play. The analog feel of the controllers is really great. You've got so much control, it's so cool. What do you need? Well, you need a microcontroller for starters, about four pound, maybe a bit under. You also need one of these screens, you can pick them up for three quid. Um, Two pounds. <laughs> you, can, you need a potentiometer, that is... Well, we got a box of 20 for about 8.99, so... Yeah. Um, but you'll need two of them. We've got two here and then two here. Um, oh, your speaker. Okay. You'll need a speaker, which you can get around, what was it? About a pound. About a pound, yeah. Um, but you might have one lying around your house. Mm -hmm. um, jumper. Some of this stuff you might even have around your house anyways. Of course you need jumper wires. Of course, jumper wires. But these are a few pence, well, mm -hmm. per one. You know, we've done a lot of projects, but out of all of them, if you had to pick one, this would probably be the one to do. Yeah, last night we were like two hours and it was it was intense. We got the whole family and we we're just playing Pico Pong. Uh, my brother was doing a video on making audio from the Pico using yeah. PWM. And um, so we decided that we might may as well add sound effects to it. Yeah. Which really brought it out and made it really alive. We'll probably make a cabinet to put it in, but we thought we'd just do a quick video now and get the code shared. We've written it in MicroPython. Let's take you through the builds. We've got SSD 1306 um, OLED screens, um, which are connected via I2C. But if you want to use SPI, then you can easily adapt the code to that as well. Very basic switch. You can press it to start the program again. Just a few notes. Firstly, the screen flicker, you can't see in real life, it's just the camera. Um, secondly, we'll list links to the components from our Amazon shop in the description. So if you buy from those links, we'll just get a few pence. But no. if you can get them cheaper, get them cheaper. Please. We would. This isn't going well. This isn't going well. The speaker is just simply connected through a resistor. Um, you can boost the sound by using a chip. Um, I've got a video about that. We've got two um, potentiometers. Um, it's up to you which ones you use. Um, this one's a 10k and this one is a 1k um but these two here are both 10k so it really is up to you which one you use um but um we use a linear one um don't use a logarithmic potentiometer we got some cheap potentiometers but we got these really nice um caps here so these will look really cool in the cabinet If you want to know how a potentiometer works, then search for our voltage divided video and that'll give you a brilliant and in-depth understanding. But if you can't be bothered and just want to play Pong, then you just want to connect one um, side to positive, one side to ground. And then the middle pin, um, you want to connect to an analog pin. And then as you adjust your potentiometer, um, you'll sort of change the value of the analog pin. Um, but you can edit the code how you want, really, because um, it's up there to yeah. use. Just use them. Any part of the code that you need explaining, then do let us know. Um, anything else, like the electronics, the build, then let us know. In the comments. Yeah. And um, we must say, we love all of the projects that we do. I love my mini amp, but we would highly recommend this Pico Pong because it is such great fun. Yeah. And that controller is really, really good. So we'll definitely be doing some more, um, some more games. Um, Space Invaders is a definite. Um, we really want to make an enclosure for this, um, something permanent so we can just pick it up and play with it. Um, so if you guys have any ideas for any materials, anything, S designs, designs, you guys have some awesome ideas, so please do let us know. We're very grateful. Let us know in the comments. Um, we will be doing a follow-up video on that when we've made the enclosure, and yeah, it'd be really cool. So grab yourself some pots and a board. And get over to GitHub and get the code and make yourself one. Really hope you like this video. If you did like our video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. By the way, our little sister's in bed, so she says hi. Hi, guys. I'm my sister. <laughs> Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.